So hi everybody, how are you? We're gonna play some Genshin Impact, uh, which means that we're gonna be trying to pull for Eula, um, and also do Eula's character story. She has a guarantee since she got Deluca as her last five star. Oh, oh, you're right. Oh, I don't even have a 50-50. I didn't even think about that. So, wind trace. What, what, already? You guys? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, she's cute. She looks, she reminds me so much of Aqua from Kingdom Hearts. I like sword characters. So. I condemn you. Yes. Okay, I'm ready to try her ult. Ready, 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 ready. Vengeance will be mine. Oh yeah! You miss me playing Genshin? I try to play it like, you know, every now and then. I'd play I'd play it more, but I just, you know, I, I play so many games, it's hard for me to play the same thing all the time, you know? But I always I will always come back to Genshin. I'm not gonna quit. Let me let me just let me just say that right now, because I get asked a lot. Did you quit Genshin? No, I'm never gonna quit. I enjoy Genshin. I'm gonna keep up with it. Um, I'm just not gonna play it all the time because you can only do so much. And there's so many other games to play. You know? I think we could do it. I don't know. I have some high hopes here, but hey, who knows? I'm a little nervous. Okay, cool. That's that's not bad. Here we go! <laughs> <gasps> I think we got it. <laughs> oh my god, that was actually really fast! Heck yeah, let's go! <laughs> All right, we're done pulling. No more, I'm saving the rest of my primos. Uh, who needs a healer, right? Ah, uh, she's gorgeous. Well, I, that's, that's what they do. They make every character in this game look absolutely stunning so that you want them. Okay, so let's, let's start doing the character quest. Monstat, let's go. I love Monstat. If you could cosplay as a Genshin character, 100% Ganyu. 100% I would cosplay as Ganyu. <sighs> Thank you for coming on such short notice, honorary knight. I know you must be busy. Well, to make a long story short, there's a particular matter at hand that the knights requires your assistance with. I love Jean. She I have recently precious. received multiple reports from the Knights of someone within the Lawrence clan having close dealings with the Fatui. The Fatui? Again? <gasps> but who are the Lawrence clan? There was a dark period in Mondstadt's history when the aristocracy ruled over the city. The hard-won freedom that followed with the fall of Decarabian was lost once again as slavery spread throughout the land. The first Dandelion Knight, Vanessa, spearheaded the revolution that overthrew the old aristocratic system and established the Knights with of Favonius, leading Mondstadt to become the city that you see today. The aristocrats that had oppressed the people of Mondstadt were none other than the Lawrence clan. It'd actually kind of be a pretty cool twist, right? If, if Paimon got, like, possessed or something and you had to fight her to get, like, the demon out of her. I actually think that would be a really cool concept, you know? Thanks again for your help. If you run into any snags along the way, I'll do anything in my power to support you. Thank you, Jean. All right, let's go meet Eula, even though I'm already Eula. <laughs> huh? Who are you? Who are you? Hello, we're here to... Oh, it's, it's, uh, what's Hello? his name? Shoe something. Sh Schubert. Shuby. <laughs> Did I hear you correctly? Hello? Huh. And I suppose you think that you can simply strut up here and greet me in such an ignoble and vulgar manner? Given that I don't recognize you, I can only assume that you are a traveler of some variety. I'll have you know that you are speaking with THE Schubert Lawrence, a blood descendant of THE magnanimous nobility. If you wish to address me, you'd best consider your words more How carefully. dare you! Such nonchalant manners are inadmissible and will never do. Now, if you're somehow capable of understanding anything I've said, 
Then you will get down on your knees, what? apologize for your negligent actions. Don't talk to me like this, Schubert! Proper introduction. That is the appropriate etiquette. And neglecting your manners would result in a swift whipping. What? Uh, but look at the world now. Rules have been thrown to the wayside and manners forgotten. Ugh, I cannot bear to see such degradation. All right, Schubert has officially won the award for the most annoying Genshin Impact character. I want to say, like, it'd be cool if he was a boss because I don't like him and I want to fight him, but he's not cool enough to be a boss, so. What did you say? I'll have you know that though the Lawrence clan is in decline, myself and others of noble blood are looking for a chance to restore our rightful honor. <laughs> Just look around. The people are unruly and undisciplined. I, however, strive to retain the elegance and etiquette of the nobility. After all, we are of a completely different breed by birth. Who does this guy think he is? <laughs> Now I have more pressing matters to attend to. I'll take my leave. Okay, bye. Well, if it Amber! is Amber! Right. I'm just on my way out to gather some intel. I didn't expect to run into you here. This brings back memories. Being in Mondstadt is really nice for me because it takes me back to when I first started Genshin Impact, you know? And it just feels so comforting. Hey, why don't you let me try to help? What's the problem? Master Jean asked us to build a connection with someone named Schubert Lawrence, but it turns out that he's a peculiar character that doesn't listen to anyone, especially Paimon. Aha, Schubert! I know him! Let me guess, he said you didn't have any manners. All right, so they know each other? <laughs> I've been on the receiving end of his lectures many a time. The Lawrence clan can be very particular about such things. Uh... You mean everyone in the Lawrence clan is just a big headache? As aristocrats, they believe there should be a certain distance between themselves and common folk. Uh, I understand their thinking, but that's just not how things are anymore. How can you understand that? However, there is one exception among the Lawrence clan. My good buddy, Eula. Yay, we get to meet Eula! <sighs> buddy? That's right. Eula is special. She's not quite like the other members of her clan. She has her own beliefs and it shows. In other words, she doesn't really adhere to the strict rules and conventions of her family. Well, that's good. However, she's still quite knowledgeable about dealing with the Lawrences. I'm sure you'll see what I mean if you meet her. In fact, I think she's out in the wilderness on patrol this morning. You should be able to find her around Storm Bear Mountains. Thanks, Amber. All right, you heard her. Let's go find Eula. I'm excited. Good luck, you two. I've got my own matters to investigate. Ember's so cute. <gasps> the Fatui! What are they doing here? I'm not very what strong. Sent our patrol here? I am kind of weak. <laughs> Diluc is strong! I love having Diluc so much. I'm getting sniped! Oh my god! Huh? <gasps> ah! <gasps> oh, this is so cute! I love this! Ah! Yeah. The music! <laughs> okay, stop! Wait, this is so good! Are you kidding me? You don't think twice before reaching for your sword, <laughs> That do was you? amazing! Do you have any idea how long I've been tracking these targets? Hello. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> Ice mom. And now you get to stake a claim. <laughs> you think you're stronger because you got to them first? Uh, mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. <laughs> uh, what? Hyman thinks she's pretty strange. Although at least we can communicate with her. You dare to call someone you've just met strange? Forget the aristocracy. That's rude even <laughs> by normal standards. Speaking of which, how do you know my name? This is the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. And speaking of rude, <laughs> we're trying to investigate an aristocrat named Schubert Lawrence. He's so obsessed with etiquette that he's not even willing to speak with us. <laughs> I understand. Oh, it's her uncle. That's 
my uncle, all right. Oh, I'm so sorry, you. Uh... <laughs> you must be fun at family gatherings. But why do you mean to investigate him? <sighs> I see. <laughs> you have some nerve to faming a family member right in front of me. I will have vengeance for this, too. No, no, no! This is an assignment from Master Jean! It's just an investigation, that's all! To the everyday citizens of Mondstadt, everyone in the Lawrence clan is scum. It's natural for rumors and unwarranted gossip to lead to such suspicion. Listen, it's not a rumor that your uncle is rude. He's rude! <laughs> <laughs> Curious. We've only just met, and you've already given me three causes for vengeance. <laughs> Why do you seem so? I've encountered anyone as interesting as you. I assume you need me to teach you the conduct of the Lawrence clan. Only then will you finally be able to communicate with my uncle, correct? That's right. Amber told us to come and talk to you. Well then, let's begin your training immediately. It'll be easier to train when we're back in Mondstadt. Ah, you finally arrived. There's no time to spare, so we'll begin with our first lesson. <laughs> Don't worry, there's a time and place for exacting vengeance. Besides, I'm not in the mood for any right now. Best save it for later. Uh, you need to be in the right mood for vengeance. I already have a long list of vengeance to exact. Even if I wanted to begin now, I'd have to start in the right order. Who knows how long it will be before I get to you. Oh god! <laughs> Mark my words, vengeance will be mine! You there, lowly worker. I... Yeah, I've already heard it all before. Look, just spare me the time. Our answer's always the same. We've got nothing to say to the likes of you. I mean, seriously, can't you just take I a kind of feel bad for you, Lev. Please calm down. We don't want to cause any trouble. Ah, uh, I know she's a knight of Favonius, and that the knights wouldn't misplace their trust, but the name Lawrence carries too much weight with it. Even to this very day, the descendants of the Lawrence clan are still scheming to reclaim Mondstadt and reinstate their aristocratic rule. And if that wasn't enough, here you are purposefully using their awkward way of speaking just to put on an act? Don't you care for the feelings of us ordinary folk? He kind of has a point, I think. You have no! a point. But mark my words, <laughs> this transgression will not go unnoticed. Don't worry. What with me being a knight of Favonius, they're usually willing to speak a few words with me. Perhaps my aristocratic manner of speech provoked them today. Believe me, it's not a big issue. So this is the way things are normally for you? There's no need for them to direct their anger at you personally. Oh, that reminds me. That last person will not escape my vengeance either. <laughs> <sighs> Let's leave it at that. Just think of it as something I like to She do. pretty much has a hit list. But unfortunately, you probably didn't <laughs> learn much from those conversations. It seems we have no other choice but to find more people to talk to. Uh, no need! Besides, the Traveler's pretty sharp, and nothing gets in our way on an adventure. Paimon thinks we got the gist of it now. It's so cold. Does aristocrat training really need to be done here? If you wish to truly achieve the dignified conduct of an aristocrat, you must learn to remain composed and elegant even amidst harsh conditions. For example, you can see that part of the path up ahead is quite but a well-trained aristocrat would not only effortlessly proceed forward, but do so without a stain on their garment and their elegance fully intact. Hyman thinks we've left the realm of aristocrats and entered the realm of adventuring. Compared to what we've already seen, this should be a piece of cake. Hyman thinks so too, but you've got this in the bag. <laughs> you look pretty confident this time. All right, let's get started. Remember, you must be graceful and elegant. Don't get knocked or launched into the air. That would be most unsightly. Ah, uh, okay. I'll. Uh, do I? Am I really not supposed to get hit at all? <laughs> oh! That won't do. You've exposed your shortcomings. No need to worry. Head back to the starting point and try again. Don't. Don't! <laughs> Not bad. I almost didn't make it through. Good thing we didn't get stuck. Um, so, are we aristocrats now? 
<laughs> Don't flatter yourselves. We've only just begun. And there's more. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> well done. Your performance was most impressive. Like Paimon said, adventuring is our specialty. Uh, <laughs> so that's it for our training, right? Then let's get out of Dragon's Spine. Probably not. Paimon turns into a popsicle. She's definitely gonna make mm. us do something else. Hold on. I was commending the traveler's performance just now. Oh! You, on the other hand, seem to have made no progress <gasps> at all. Uh, what? You mean Paima was also part of the training? Yes, of course. You were frantically flying and dashing about throughout the entire thing. Not an elegant sight at all. Well, regardless, I'll play 14 tonight. Whether, No matter what, whatever it be that we do, I'll play. <laughs> Did you even listen to anything I was trying to teach you? Uh, maybe the weather is just too cold. Yeah, that's it. It's too cold here. Uh, besides, Paimo was paying attention to the Traveler. Whatever the reason, not heeding my instructions. A cause for vengeance, perhaps. Huh. Now, drink this. Huh? What is it? <gasps> Are you trying to poison Paimon? <laughs> Certainly not. It's warm milk. What? Okay, thank you for the warm milk you want. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, are you still planning on the whole vengeance thing? If I wasn't, <coughs> then why would I care about you being cold? <coughs> if you turned into a Paimon popsicle, that would ruin my plans for vengeance <coughs> now, wouldn't it? What? Why? You already ate. Get over here now. <laughs> Come here. Come here. How dare you scare me like that? I'm so mad at you. I'm trying to- I'm trying to accept Eula's warm milk. And what are you doing? Barking at me. Look at the strut. She's a model. Oh, hey Eula. I see you've met the honorary knight. We meet again, Amber. Seems we're just bound to run into you these days. Well, I just got back and was thinking about grabbing a bite at Good Hunter. But now that you're here, why don't we all eat together? Uh, hold on a moment. Is this satisfying salad also something that Amber ordered? No, she didn't order it. But because she didn't order any vegetables, I thought I'd throw in a salad on the house. You know, <laughs> to contrast all the meat dishes. That's sweet of you. So, we clearly didn't order this. Yet you prepared it without authorization. <laughs> Mark my words, this transgression will not go unnoticed. Taking it a little too far, Eula, I think. Um, uh, you're gonna take revenge on her for giving us a free salad? <laughs> <laughs> Delicious unauthorized delicacies. <laughs> Sarah will pay for this. Why would you choose Gibraltonus Fleischmidt sauerkraut as a gift for your uncle? Hyman's never even heard that dish before. This dish isn't actually on Good Hunter's menu. Only long-standing patrons such as my uncle would know about the dish. The old aristocrats seem to take a liking to it. Because of the sour flavor of the sauerkraut, not too many people are fond of it these days. I guess it's become less popular over time. Eula treated me to the dish once, and I couldn't even finish a bite. I've nicknamed it Gebratenes Fleisch mit Vengeance ever since. Ugh. I never expected us to have such completely different tastes in food. If I weren't in such a good mood, I'd say that constitutes grounds for transgression. Eula! <laughs> Of course not. It's hard to find someone in Mondstadt that attracts contempt as much as she does. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine when you're just joking between us, but I'm afraid our honorary knight might misunderstand oh, you. Oh, Eula, Eula being sarcastic. Okay, okay. Eula's always talking about vengeance, but that's just how she is. It's nothing you should take too seriously. But I am serious, and I'll remember every transgression committed against me. It's no wonder so many people dislike you. Paimon's starting to realize that Eula is actually a very good person. There's no need to be so awkward when you want to say something nice. <laughs> She's just a tsundere! <laughs> Her tent seems to be pretty tattered, but there's a really fancy chair. Why is there an echo? Oh, because she's thinking. Could this be another aristocratic custom? Her head is so hollow that it echoes. 
Ah, it's you again. Ugh. I thought I had rid myself of you too. Hmm. <laughs> If I may be so bold as to say a few humble words. Very well. I'm certainly not one to be narrow-minded. I'll overlook your previous misconduct for now and listen to what you have to say. Thank you, Schubert. Wow, this guy thinks so highly of himself. It is an honor to stand before you here, immersed in your supreme brilliance. <laughs> hmm, it appears I have misjudged you. Supreme brilliance. The glory of the nobility that continues to this day. A true loyalist. Schubert relishes the... yes. <laughs> ah, yes. This aroma, just as I remember it. And this exquisite sour flavor. Uh. Mm. A delicacy that only us noblemen and women could appreciate. My dad used to make sauerkraut when I was a kid. I don't personally like it. <laughs> Why have you put on a mask all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, it's the mask. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, it is only proper for aristocrats to wear a mask. No, I really shouldn't say that because then he'll be like, well, I'm not wearing one. It is well concealed and spacious This enough. is not a good Although pace. it has fallen into disrepair and does not suit the tastes of the Quit turning around! We simply have to make do for now. Uh, sorry. Um, can we walk any faster? <laughs> of course not. An aristocrat always moves with grace in his steps. Moving hurriedly is unacceptable. As expected, it's the fatuity! <laughs> As expected? Uh, because... We always see them around the city. Um, they must be very powerful. <laughs> uh, where have I seen this person before? And who, may I ask, is this? We mustn't bring just anyone in here. This is our new ally that I've recently met. They are completely trustworthy. You have the word of the Lawrence clan. Are they gonna recognize my voice? Our plans are strictly confidential. It's not wise to bring in an outsider at this time. I gotta ask, I don't know how this little mask that just covers my eyes is enough for you to not realize who I am. It reminds me of a Cinderella story. Uh, that movie always made me so upset because... How did you not know it was her? All she was wearing was a masquerade mask and you really can't tell that it's her? Really? Now, to the matter at hand. Did you bring the diagram of Mondstadt's defenses as promised? Oh, so that's what's going on here. Yes, of course. Here it is. Let me see. Schubert, uh -huh. we're not going to do that. Why is it so poorly drawn? Everything's so squiggly and crooked. A and what is this shape supposed to be? Excuse me? I'll have you know that I went to great lengths to carefully draw this map by hand myself. <laughs> that shape is the symbol of the Knights of Favonius. Ha, huh, I see. Crude, but I can make do. Are you able to verify that this is all reliable information? Through his own map. Of course, you needn't worry about that. Don't forget what we agreed upon. The flag of the Lawrence clan will fly above the Knights of Favonius headquarters. The rights to that building, as well as the whole of Mondstadt, belong to the Lawrence clan. He really thought he did something here. He really did. <laughs> but he didn't. <laughs> Perfect. Just as it once was, and just as it should be. I mean, he is not intimidating in the slightest. Very well. Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> That's right! It's the honorary knight and their trusty companion, Paimon! We're here to crush your evil schemes into dust! Dust! <laughs> and breathe. So this was all just a ploy to deceive me? Yes, Schubert. 
Yes! It's your own fault! Who would put so much trust in someone based purely on their manners? After so much planning, this is how it ends? Huh? We'll see about that! <laughs> oh, hey, Eula! Oh, Eula looks upset with her uncle. I would be too, to be honest. It seems we finally caught up with you. This place is crawling with Fatui. So you're the one that taught them our etiquette. And I thought you despised such pleasantries. Don't talk to your niece like that, Schubert. Furthermore, there is a rule in our family. Such traditions are never to be taught to outsiders. Ah, uh, yes. Rings a bell. So what? I had no reason not to teach them. You have brought shame to our family. I'm back. It ruined my plans. It's all for naught now. <laughs> it's time for vengeance, Sir Schubert. Shuby. The blood of the Lawrence clan flows in your veins. You must comply with the will of the family. Since when have I ever complied with the will of the family? Why, you... You unruly maid! Sir? If anyone should be angry, it should be me. As a member of the Lawrence clan, you knowingly plotted against the city of Mondstadt and threatened its safety. Listen, if I was her, I would have already fought him. Had you considered how many enemies you would make trying to keep the plans under wraps? She's so common for what? He doesn't deserve that. You dare lecture me! That's right. In the name of the family that you so dearly revere, Uncle Schubert. I've never experienced the age of glory you always speak of. And I've never understood our family's incessant pursuit of it. But I am capable of discerning right from wrong. And I deeply understand what freedom means to the people of Mondstadt. The Lawrence clan should never and will never become what you've dreamed it to be. <sighs> oh, the disgrace of it all! How could such a rebellious monster emerge from our own family? Huh. Things are starting to get pretty hysterical here. Politeness and elegance seem to have gone out the window. That's enough fuss for today. You two, take him away. <sighs> and there was me thinking that he was just another elder of the family. And a lazy one at that. I never suspected he could stoop this low. So stubborn. <laughs> Mark my words, vengeance will be mine. All the vengeance focus has now shifted to good old Uncle Schubert. This must be it. They may very well have already made a copy of it. True. But without my uncle as their puppet, there'd be no use in them attacking the city. Anyway, I'll inform the acting Grandmaster. She'll know how to handle things from here. Oh yeah, you suddenly appeared at just the right moment. True, right? As uh, this is the second time that's happened. Yeah, then. about that. Because you stole my targets by attacking the Fatui I'd been tracking earlier, I came to exact my vengeance. <laughs> you tried to do my job for me, and I'm here to return the favor. So that's her definition. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Getting the diagram of Monset's defenses was your way of exacting vengeance. Finally, after all this time, that's so cute. I what you're saying. You don't look too bright. But it turns out you have a knack for scheming. Oh, thanks, Yula. And mark my words, I'll remember that. You don't look too bright. Hey, what do you mean Paimon doesn't look too bright? You have seeded a deep enmity between us. Just you wait. <laughs> Even if you were to be completely destroyed, I would never forget you. Aww. Bring it on! <laughs> <laughs> I love this, like, friendly... I like your fighting spirit. Banter. I'll take this diagram back to the Knights of Favonius and it's take cute. it from... Sure. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Well, that you will. And make sure not to steal my targets next time. <laughs> so cute. I love this. Oh, it's over. That was so cute. I loved it. Oops. She's so stylish. Why don't you... Wait, is he supposed to speak? Uh, they could have hired me. I would have done it for free. I'm glad you asked. Wind Trace is a game that's all about Mondstadt's history. The current disguises... Wine kegs and wooden crates. All right. <gasps> Get away! <laughs> My anxiety! I'm not... There's still plenty of time
waiting for her to find me and I'm scared to move. I feel like she's gonna find me if I move. Don't. Don't! Don't! Ah! close but so far what I don't want to be a lantern but why am I that is that sticks out like a sore thumb what stick out a little bit I'm not gonna lie I feel like I feel like I should move over to those other lanterns I don't know if I can like position myself into the lantern because he aren't that there are two lanterns. Yeah, no, get over here. Get over here. Come on, come on! Really? Just... Are you... Are you serious? I, I made it as obvious as possible for you. Just take me. does so that looks this looks like it would be somebody it's not but it looks like it what oh hello wait <gasps> i see you chi chi what are you doing up there oh wait i just saw a lantern moving <gasps> what are you doing Hey, do you know what? Wait, where was the other person? But I... I thought I only caught one person. I caught two? Wait, I caught the lantern per... <laughs> I didn't even know that I caught them! <laughs> cool! <laughs> That was fun. Wow, two victories in a row. That's what's up. That was fun.